Hello and welcome to Organic Chemistry presented by Science Visualized. Today we are continuing with our discussion on stereochemistry. Provide the RS stereochemical configuration of the chiral center in the structure. So if you look at this structure, there is one possible chiral center. In order to determine if it's a chiral center, we have to see if it has four different groups. So we have a CH3 group here. We have an OH. We have another carbon here. And we have bromine here. And because they are all different, then yes, that's a chiral center. Next, we need to assign priorities using the kahn ingold prelog scheme. In this scheme, atoms that have higher atomic weight will be given higher priority. So here we are comparing bromine, carbon, OH, and another carbon. And we know that the mass of carbon is 12, oxygen is 16, and bromine is 79. And because of that, we see that bromine has a higher priority, and therefore we assign that priority number one. Next is oxygen, which has a mass of 16. That will be priority number two. And then next we are comparing that carbon and this carbon. We see that they all have a mass of 12, equal priority, but this carbon is connected to hydrogen, while that other carbon is connected to another carbon, making this side to have a higher priority, and therefore we are going to assign that a priority of 3. And then lastly, the CH3 will have a priority of 4. Next, we need to rotate this molecule in such a way that the lowest priority, 4, is going away from you. And this actually has a right setter because that bond is hushed, which means it's going away from you, while this other one, OH, is coming towards you. So we have the right orientation. And then last, look at the numbers 1, 2, 3. If the numbers increase counterclockwise, then that becomes an S. If it increases clockwise, that becomes an R. And the easiest way to remember is that R is like when you're driving, you turn the steering to the right. So you turn it like that. And that gives you R. If you look at this structure, we have number one, and then two, and then three, and therefore it's going clockwise, and that makes it an R isomer. So that will be R stereocenter. Thank you. Please support the channel by subscribing.